Hey guys, I am just sitting here sweating my keister off next to the stove, drying out my snowshoe straps. Anyway, what we're going to do today is we're going to make a really simple moose chili inside the wood stove. So let's go take a look at the ingredients and get started. Okay, so like I said, this is going to be pretty pretty simple chili because we don't live very complicated up here. So we're not. This isn't going to be like really super do fan, fancy or anything like that. We're going to start out. We're going to use a cup of pinto beans. Uh, I'm only going to use a half cup in the chili, but it, I'd rather just cook up a cup of them and use the other uh, uh, half for something else. Okay, this is and and I know. There are no beans in real chili, but we need to make our meat supply go as long as we can. So yeah, we're we're augmenting protein with other protein. And yes, again, I'm going to take the easy road out. I'm going to use just chili powder instead of the individual ingredients. I will learn to make a really good, regular, honest-to-goodness chili someday. We're going to use diced tomatoes uh, and some sort of tomato sauce. And I've been making edible won't kill you chili uh, for a long time and I've used everything from tomato soup you know the condensed tomato soup to uh, uh, obviously cheap ass pasta sauce or just tomato sauce whatever you've got handy at all it all works then we're going to use a little bit of brown sugar to cut the acidity of said uh, tomatoes we're going to use moose burger and real jalapenos. Let's get these out of the. Ta-da! Real jalapenos, or as we call them up here, jalapenos. And that's pretty much it. And uh, I've got the beans going already, so let's go take a look at them. They should be almost done. Whoops. Let's check these out. I think these are done. Oh, yeah. Good and done. I'm going to drain off some of this water, take out half the beans, and start inserting the ingredients. Okay, what I did was I, I drained off half the beans and most of the juice. I left just enough in there uh, to kind of uh, act as a base a little bit. I might take a little more out of there. Let me take a little more out of there, although this is already kind of full. Um, I'm going to take another scoop out of there, and then we will start putting the ingredients in. And that's I'm not going to show you that because it's just... Put in the diced tomatoes without the juice. I, I hold the juice off for later. And depending on how thick you want your chili, you can add the tomato juice later to, to, uh, to uh, make it runnier. I like mine kind of thick, and I can always use this for, for other stuff. Uh, the tomato sauce, as much as you want. Um, just, you know, put in, you know, maybe a third of this to begin with if you're dealing with a, like a six-inch uh, diameter Dutch oven. Um, it just work it out however you want it. It's, it's dang it. It's your chili. And then I'll probably put in about a tablespoon of brown sugar and that's just to cut the acidity. Uh, some people actually do like sweet chili. I prefer mine to be kind of neutral. Um, uh, so best use that in, in, uh, sparingly. Now, whoops, I'm making a mess. Not this, this, use this sparingly at first because it, it, it's easy to mix in and it takes effect almost immediately. I hacked off a chunk of that uh, moose meat right there. This is uh, ground moose meat. I'm going to let that thaw out a little bit and then hack it up and, and put that in there. Might put a little bit more in there. You never know. And uh, then we'll slice up the jalapenos and put them in. But that's all. I mean, if you can't do that, you're not going to be able to even deal with cooking in a Dutch oven anyway. So you can just, like I said, just put in whatever you, th you feel like. Um, I would advise you to not put in more than what the Dutch oven can hold, obviously. But um, that's just my way of doing it. So I'm going to uh, shut this off, put the ingredients in, and put it back in the wood stove. Okay, to bring you up to speed, this Dutch oven has uh, one half cup of uh, pinto beans and a little bit of juice, maybe a third of a cup of the original bean juice that was in there. I added one third of a can of tomato sauce. Uh, one third of a can of uh, strained or drained uh, uh, diced tomatoes, uh, one tablespoon of chili powder, 
and one tablespoon of uh, uh, brown sugar. <laughs> Excuse me. Duh. Right to lips. Um, now I'm going to throw in uh, the mousse burger, which I chopped up a little bit, let it thaw out a little bit, and the equivalent, there's about about the size of my fist right now, I guess, of uh, hamburger, and the equivalent of about two-thirds of a jalapeno, so we're just going to mix that all. I know that stuff is, oh, it's commingled, and it's raw meat and everything. Well, it's, it's all going to be cooked anyway, so don't fret. Don't fret. Dun, dun, dun. Man, that... I'm hurrying, I'm hurrying. I'll have to clean that up later. I let the dog clean it. All right. Let's move this back over if we can. Let's get this out of the way. All right, now we're just going to mix that up. Now you'll see that this is filling up the Dutch oven really nicely, and this is about as far as we want it to go, as far as is is height and uh that's just about right ma'am i'm good okay we're gonna got this all mixed up so we're gonna throw this back in uh the wood stove and we're gonna let it cook thoroughly then we're gonna taste it then uh, obviously we might have to add it's already pretty thick so we're probably gonna have to add some tomato juice from the diced uh tomatoes can which i put into a, put into jars um and we'll see how how the the chili powder and the the, the sugar go. Uh, like I say, I don't want to make it too sweet, so I'm just gonna have to do a little bit of taste testing along the way. So let's put this back in the wood stove and let her cook, and then just give her a taste test. Okay, we're just gonna throw the Dutch oven back in there. Now you're gonna notice my fire going. It's not a huge fire. Uh, if you want to take a look back in the wood stove, there you can see I have these large tin cans lined up. They're actually on both sides. That's just my field expedient way of keeping my fire from breaking apart. Keeps my fire grouped closer together. And I also have tin cans in there. Actually, the tin cans that I just opened, I burned them out in the wood stove as opposed to washing them out because washing them out takes water and I don't want to haul any more water than I have to. It burns them all out. Then I can store them outside in a bag and they won't draw in any animals because it's got food smells and stuff in them. So that's just my extra little hint and tip, I guess, if it works for you. Okay, this should do it. This will be the last check. Let's pull this out of the wood stove and check it out. Okay, so let's check this out, shall we? Oh, man. Looks like a very hearty, hearty chili to me. Let's spoon this up and have some dinner. We know that moose chili was really pretty good. Uh, I should have shot a clip of me chowing down on it, but I was busy chowing down on it, so I didn't even think to film anything. But it was really good, you know, for as simple as it was. I cook very simply up here just because I don't have access to a lot of ingredients all the time. I just can't run into town and, and do stuff. And even if I did, I wouldn't know how to use the damn seasonings anyway. So I stick to the basics. Uh, it comes out good. It's, it's like I said, it's just, it's just simple. I don't do really super duper complicated stuff, but if you think it's not going to turn out well, uh, try it and you'd be the judge because uh, it tasted like chili to me. Anyway, there you have it. Thanks for watching. I hope it wasn't too incredibly boring. Uh, got more stuff coming, a lot more cooking stuff because I, I, I like to cook even though my cooking isn't technically cooking. It's more like keeping myself from starving, I guess. But most of my stuff comes out pretty good. I'm pretty happy with it, and I haven't had anybody complain. That, that doesn't mean they didn't complain because they died. I mean, uh, so give it a try. It's just a few ingredients. There'll be an ingredient list uh, at the very end of this video if you want to write it down or, or copy and paste or do whatever. 
Thanks for watching. I hope you had fun. I had fun making it because I love doing stuff like that. I, I, just because I love eating as well, as you can probably tell. But anyway, you guys have a good one, and we will see you on the next one.